Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermiss Fishing Tips. We're out here today, it's a nice day. We're just gonna fish for an hour or two and see if we can pick up a few bullhead catfish. And you know, catfish, there's one thing about bullheads, they're readily available. Uh, any type of creek or pond system usually has them and it's a great place to take your kids out if you have some family and enjoy a day on the water. And today what we're gonna be doing, very simply, is using uh, a couple of hooks and, uh, and we're gonna run worms. And you know, when it comes to catching bullhead catfish, the best kind of worms to use are the kind that you find uh, in a compost pile. Those ones have the most scent to them and that's what you want to do. You want to give off a lot of scent for those catfish so they can hone in on your bait. And uh, reg as opposed to a regular night crawler which doesn't have that much scent. And uh, we're going to just cast out here. Not too far. Let's see if we can get into a few fish. Now I'm going to put my rod down. I don't have a rod holder with me today, but I'm just going to put my rod down. I'm going to keep my rod close to the bottom uh, so that my hooks and baits stay on the bottom. And uh, then they just wait for a bite. And you know when these catfish bite, you'll see them bite. They'll bite hard like so. But then the bite you want to pull on is when you see your, your rod just kind of going slowly like that, those slow tugs. That's when the catfish got the bait in their mouth and they're taking the bait and that's when you want to pull. There is a good bite right there. That was the slow one I was looking for right there, folks. He was biting really aggressively, really aggressively and then he gave me one of those nice little tugs I was talking about. There we go. There's a nice bullhead right there. Nice color to him. Nice aggressive bite. That's a lot of fun. Nothing big. Nothing strong as far as the fight goes, but you know what? He's going to be very tasty too, so we're just going to keep a few fish today for the table. I'm going to rebait up. And you know, speaking of rebaiting, when I was talking with Claudio, he explained it to me the other day in a very good analogy here. When I'm going to cast out, I'm going to cast out to the same spot. And these worms, they're very, very, uh, they smell. They come from compost piles, they got a real smell to them. And you know, it's just like, it's just like uh, even when the bait's not there, that scent is still in the area. So those catfish are going to come around to that scent. It's kind of like, uh, you ever see a dog on a rabbit trail? The rabbit's not there, but they still, they still find the trail. And that's the same thing with the catfish. So I'm going to bait up again. And I tell you, my line wasn't in there for three minutes and I picked up that hit so I think I'm gonna be able to catch a dozen fish today rather quickly for the dinner table and I'm just gonna bait up again here real quick perfect same spot not too far out and you know another tip I'd like to share with you today folks when it comes to catching bullheads oh there's a bite right there I must have knocked it right on his head oh yeah there it is there when you're when you're putting these worms on there's a good bite. What I like to do, just tighten my line up here a bit. He's taking it a bit. There we go. Oh, that was a good bite. What I like to do when I'm putting the worms on, I don't just put the worm on once and slide it up the hook. Oh, this guy's strong. Not too big, but he's a fighter. <laughs> there we go. That's another nice size for eating right there. Look at that. They cleaned my top hook off. What I like to do is when I put the worm on, I put it on multiple times. And um, by doing so, I put it on into a, into a ball as, a pill, as opposed to just putting the, the worm on once. And each time I poke that worm through the hook, I'm creating another little uh, avenue for the scent to be released. And that's very, very important. So you wanna poke the, hook, the uh, worm through the hook as many times as possible and create it, put it into a nice ball and the catfish will just key in on that and, and uh, bite on it. So. I'm going to bait up again and get back out there. Same spot. And you know, I'll tell you, fishing in the spring, I absolutely love it. These fish have been sitting out here all winter, so they're on the bite. They're looking for food and they're aggressive. So it's a great time to get into some, uh, some good action. Look, speaking of which, there's a bite right there. That was a good bite. Let's see if he comes back. And the other thing about the spring, the weeds are not up yet in the water so there's less debris uh, makes it a little better to fish 
and he's still there. Just gave me a, a couple of bites and then he stopped. So there he's back again. That was a good bite. There we go. That was a good bite right there. <laughs> this one feels a little better. But that's the thing about fish in the spring. They're really on the bite. And you can get into some real, look at them go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Talk about a double header there. <laughs> but I tell you, they're aggressive. The top one's gonna keep, the little one's gonna go catch a release and get a little bigger for another day. Okay, so I'm gonna cast it basically in the same spot. And I'm not, I'm not fishing out that far because, like I said, this water's still cold. It's, it's uh, springtime. And those fish are a little bit closer. They're not out in that deep stuff. They're in a the little shallower in the warmer water. And you know what? It's not taking that long to get a bite either. So that last bite was a few minutes, and we'll see how long it takes now to get another hit. There's a bite right there, actually. That didn't take long, so they threw it in. He gave me just one little one little tap there. See if he sticks around. That last fish was really, really aggressive. Very, very aggressive bites. In fact, he was biting and pulling the line. Oh, there's, oh, that's a good bite. That's a good catfish bite right there. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Like I said, it doesn't take long to get a bite. Oh, it's just a little guy. He's okay this one is a bit small toss my line back out there again in the same spot it's paying off already this fishing in the same area because the bites are coming pretty quickly here and and they're pretty aggressive too so and what I'm using with this no stretch line uh, it's enabling me to see every single bite even the slightest of bites I'm gonna see it because it's it's a direct it's a direct link from the fish to my to my rod and of course I'm using a fluorocarbon leader as well on the end because even though these catfish aren't as fussy as let's say uh, other game fish are uh, I still don't want to go to, oh there's a bite I don't want to go direct with the with the braided line there's a good hit there we go that was a nice slow tug absolutely perfect bite <laughs> as you can see here I'm not waiting that far for that long for a hit Okay, that's a nicer size catfish. Again, a little bit on the smaller side. He's got things all wrapped up here. But uh, that's, a, that's a perfect size for eating right there, actually. Got some company coming here. Beautiful, nice couple of geese. Okay, I'm back in again. Let's see how long it takes. I didn't change my bait there now. This bait uh, is still fresh. I just put it on, so there's going to still be a lot of scent on it. There's a bite, and like I say, they should still bite. Oh, there's a good bite. There, there's that small pole. That was perfect. This is, this is unbelievable. I got to tell you, you know, I should have brought my little ultralight outfit. This rod is my medium action rod, but uh, this would be just so much fun with a little ultralight outfit and they're they're getting a little bigger as the day goes on here there's a nicer one and you know I'm not surprised because again with that scent coming more catfish are coming around and maybe get into some bigger fish here too so it looks like I'm in for a great day today folks uh, thanks so much for tuning in I gotta tell you I love this kind of fishing if you get an opportunity get out there take your kids out go to a creek catch some catfish have a lot of fun so until next time folks as always good luck 